here's question number one, Amanda. You ready? Oh, I, I thought you'd want to share this podcast review. Oh, we do have one, don't we? Yeah. This is a short one from Oh My Mish. Oh My Mish. Simply amazing. I think they're talking about you, Amanda. This podcast is one of the best. Yes. I, I d- disagree. I agree. Yes, I agree, I agree with you. Uh, it is to the point, easy to listen to in the car, relaxing <laughs> at home. <laughs> Craig and Amanda, why are you laughing? Because today it was not to the point. It took like 20 minutes to get to the point, but... <laughs> Yes. I appreciate it. What a lot of people don't realize is when we record the podcast, I ramble and then I cut it all out in the edit. Yeah. It ends up on the floor. Uh, mm-hmm. Craig and Amanda are a wealth of knowledge. We really appreciate that review over on Apple Podcast. And um, if you could take the time to go over there and leave us a, a review, it does help us out a lot. It really does. Yeah. If you want to give back to us, all you got to do is post reviews and share. That's all we ask. You won't have to buy anything. We're yeah. free. So, all right. Uh, on to so, the questions. Yeah. Social media question one from our Facebook group. Curious what the real difference is between Roth and a pre tax 401k. I am allowed to contribute both, but not sure what to do. Okay. All so right. This is a common question. Yes. The difference between a Roth and a pre-tax 401k is simply how the taxes are applied to each. So pre-tax 401k is exactly how it sounds. It means you're contributing to that fund before your income is taxed. So it has not yet been taxed. It's going into that, that bucket for retirement money without having ever been taxed. So I, I know I repeated that, but it's important. The Roth instead is something that you contribute to after you've paid payroll tax on that money. So that money has already been taxed. So the result of that is that when you go to retire and you're withdrawing the funds, anything you take out of your pre-tax 401k is at that point in time going to be taxed. So you might contribute, you know, a couple, maybe a hundred thousand dollars and you have millions. Now you're going to pay tax on millions. If you have it in a Roth, instead, when you go to withdraw it, there's no tax to pay on it because you've already paid that income tax. So that's the huge difference. And it, it's, it can be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings in the future if you decide to um, contribute to a Roth now versus paying your tax later. My generation, we didn't have Roth available. So I'm in that camp where I have a lot of money in traditional and I either roll it over and start paying tax on it, or I'm going to pay the piper later on. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so you can do that, or you can, I mean, when you do retire, if you aren't able to roll over throughout and pay your tax, you know, at, before you get to retirement, then I would use that pre-tax uh, retirement fund before touching your Roth. So you can let that uh, tax-free money continue to grow while you pay taxes at an earlier age. Yep. And And the other thing I would say is a lot of people make the argument uh, that it's better to bring your income tax bracket down today so you pay less in taxes. The the math there doesn't quite work, and I've seen a number of people try and argue the math, but um, ultimately, think about it this way, that I'd rather pay a little bit of tax now versus a lot of tax later, and the amount of money that it would save you on taxes today is very little because we are in a progressive tax bracket. Absolutely. And a lot of people get uh, company matches out there. Your company Mm -hmm. match will always, Amanda hates that word, always be in your traditional bucket, which is nice because as you're putting money into your Roth, you will have some traditional money uh, sitting there, which you can use as soon as you retire, because you still have that 59 and a half rule with your Roth. Or, as many people do, even Dave Ramsey does, at the end of the year after your last paycheck, they convert that traditional into the Roth, pay the taxes once a year. So that's another strategy as well. So, yeah. so bottom line, um, one's done before payroll taxes, one's done after. And we are all Roth on that, on your payroll tax. I mean, in your paycheck. Correct. So there you go. 